Hello everyone, this is Khurram from I guess well. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video, we're going to be connecting the Xbox Series X to the Apple Vision Pro. So you're going to be seeing a huge screen, but let me remove all of that from the Apple Vision Pro right now and show you guys what I'm connected to. So this is the LG OLED TV 65 inch and connected to the Xbox Series X over there. And it's connected via the HDMI. So I want to walk you through what are the settings I'm using and how it is connected. So TV is definitely connected via the HDMI and you want to make sure that you are connected via wired connectivity. So you can see right here, I'm connected via the uh, LAN hardwired connectivity because you, you're going to be doing remote play. So you want to make sure that you get the least amount of lag possible. So when you're doing gaming, the Apple Vision Pro only gives you two hours of battery. So I have made this custom solution where I have connected a power bank. And the good thing about this is it is 10,000 milliamp, three times more capacity than the Apple Vision Pro battery. And it has a small shorter cable that always stays connected. And I have just taped it around. So I've done the video about this. And also I've done the video about the PlayStation 5 connected to the Apple Vision Pro. So you can also watch that. But now without any delay, let's talk about the settings you're going to do first on the Xbox. So we're going to go in the settings. And once you go in the settings, you want to make sure that you go to the remote settings, the remote play settings. So for that, you're going to come down to the device, devices and connections and go to the remote features because you want to enable the remote, uh, enable remote feature so you can play uh, remotely without being in front of the Xbox and also you're going to be connecting to the Apple Vision Pro so you're going to have a huge screen. So right now it is testing all that. It is saying that the NAT type is moderate and that's the only warning I have but it's going to be fine. And then also for the console setting, the power option, it says I'm on shutdown energy saving. It actually is going to be better for if it is in the sleep mode because you can access your place uh, Xbox uh, anytime. So I'm just going to go next. My connection speed looks good. Everything is fine. NAT type, you don't have to worry about if it is showing moderate. If it is showing restricted, then you'll have to open some ports. But most of the cases, you're going to have moderate connectivity. So moderate NAT type is good to go. And we're going to do next. And now we have the uh, remote play ready. We're going to close out of this and go to the power options in the same menu. And we're going to switch to sleep instead of using the shutdown mode for the remote play purpose and it's activated. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is that we're going to go in the Apple Vision Pro and do the remote play there. Okay, we're going to go to the App Store and you're not going to find the remote play application in the um, Apple Vision Pro app. So you actually have to go to the compatible apps section and we're gonna search for the XB Play. XB Play right there. I have already downloaded, it is this one. It says SB, XB Play Remote Play. So you wanna open this application, it opens like this. I'm gonna make the screen a little bigger. And one thing that you will be doing is it is it has a trial mode, but that is going to be for limited time use only. So I paid $5.99. $6 was well worth to pay for, you know, this application. You can also already see the size of the screen. That's how big my 65 inches and now it's almost same size and I can drag it to make a bigger size. So now the next step is you have to log into your Xbox account. So you're going to go to the login. And that's my email ID. You are going to put yours, of course, and the password. And you're going to tap on this. I'm going to skip through the password pass and all. It's going to authenticate. And on the screen, it's going to have the option for the uh, connection to the remote play. I'm going to put it right there so you guys can see the difference and also see when it is connected. Okay, so there's some tutorial that you can follow, but it's going to show you the connect. Uh, before you do that, I want to make sure that you guys are set up for the best resolution. So you're going to go here and in these settings, you have the quality setting. 
So I have it on desktop 1080p. That's the maximum you can get, but the good thing about the Apple Vision Pro is it's gonna upscale it for you. So we're gonna choose the 1080p, which is the highest. And video scale, I'm gonna use contain. So that's the only thing you're doing here that you're increasing the video quality. Now there's one more thing that we'll be doing, but first let's connect to the Xbox. So I'm gonna tap on connect, it's connecting. And both these systems on the same router, so it's gonna be more speedy process for the connection. And once it is connected, it's gonna ask you if you wanna enable the audio or not, because you're gonna be getting the audio from the TV, but you wanna get the audio from your Apple Vision Pro, so just enable that. And then there's tutorial, you can read through that, but I'm actually talking about it, so I'm not gonna do it. Now I have enabled the audio. There's also this virtual uh, controller that shows up. You don't have to use that because I'm gonna be using this Xbox controller. And you can see it's almost lag free because you can see how these icons are moving on the screen at the same time as that is connected to the HDMI. So it's pretty neat like how something is connected to the HDMI and something that is connected wirelessly moving like so seamlessly. Both are pretty much instant. Okay, now I'm gonna launch um, Forza Horizon. This is pretty handy, like I really like it. I get about eight hours of uh, battery life from my Apple Vision Pro using this solution. I didn't wanna buy the additional battery from Apple. That was like $200. This solution cost me only like uh, 35 bucks. You can see the size difference here that how big you get the screen on the Apple Vision Pro. But let me talk about the settings that I've done additionally to make the screen look better. So it's called upscaling and uh, we're gonna do that. Okay, so one thing I want to show you guys how you can upscale your screen because you're gonna be stretching it and it's gonna be not good quality. So you're gonna go to that menu right there, the nine dots, and you're gonna tap on it and you have the clarity boost there. So just go to the clarity boost and enable the FSR, Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Once you enable that, you're gonna get the much better upscale image and it's barely like half a millisecond lag. So let me apply and close to that and let's just go and see what it's saying. So FPS is we have 90 FPS, 1080p FSR because it's boosting the resolution for us. The codec information is there, the jitter is 0.2 and the lag is barely 0.3 six or three eight millisecond uh, which is negligible when you're playing games like these you're not playing fps shooter game so let me show you how it works you can see the speedometer that's how you can see the lag between the tv and the game itself so i'm going to start the game and you can you guys can see side by side on the tv and as well as an apple vision pro and also you can let me know in the comment section if there's any questions you guys have and would you guys use this app for six dollars i mean it's a pretty good price to, for what it does and really easy to use application and apple vision pro when you can actually get this big of a screen i mean i like the color uh calibration on the apple vision pro it's so good it's like calibrated tv whereas on my lg tv it's on game mode it's like really bluish but you can actually change the settings and make it warm. But I like the fact that about Apple Vision that it does really good calibration. So now let me go on the streets and show you guys some racing and you guys can also see how it looks on the screen. And you can see that that is Forza Horizon connected and you have the controller right here, which is for the Xbox and the speedometer right here. Please keep an eye on that if you are trying to see whether there's lag or not. So let's just go for a drive here. This is straight stretch. I have muted the audio, but you can hear it when you increase the volume. But I want to do the um, you know voiceover, so that's why I have the audio muted. But if you want to, it's over here on the dial. You can increase the volume from here. Either way, this car does not produce uh, sound because this is the uh, Mercedes one, the electric. And you can see how the on the both screens the speedometer is staying in sync so that means there's barely any lag that i'm experiencing i'm driving looking at the screen at top and um, the way the turns are if i want to hit the brakes 
So response is pretty instantaneous and that accident is in instantaneous too. Well, it's just a gameplay and I just wanted to do a little test side by side screens uh, for the LG OLED TV which is best in the gaming when you talk about the input lag and whatnot and it is in the game mode and also on the Apple Vision Pro the remote play is working just amazing and if you want to stretch the screen just look at the corner and voila you have almost wall size screen in front of you and you can enjoy your gaming so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to know anything else uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and i'll see you in another one until then peace out